Well, generally people in Northern Ireland don't really pay much attention to the Conservative Party simply because they have no electoral force here. They have no MLAs, MPs or uh, councillors. But they do have an influence inside the uh, Tory party itself. Quite a few of um, very influential Tory leaders came from here. But I I think that the biggest point for the people of Northern Ireland with, with that sort of statement is Both of these leaders are all about making the public sector smaller. And Northern Ireland's biggest employer is the health service. 72% of the jobs in Northern Ireland come from the public sector. That is eye-watering and there's a lot of fat there to be cut away. And it could be argued that it needs to be cut away. Um, I mean, I was in Belfast this morning. The amount of small cafes and, and coffee houses that are closed down because those public sector workers are no longer coming into the office. They're choosing to work from home. But I, last week, I actually spent a week going through Britain, starting off in Northern Ireland through Scotland, the northeast of England, across the Midlands, into Wales and then into Kent and Sussex, looking at farming and the inflationary uh, pressures that are put on farming and the majority of that was down to two things the red diesel uh, escapade that the the taxation was taken away from in and around the satellite of farming which I mean now uh, you're looking at at the likes of a combine harvester is last year was £600 a day to run it's now £1,300 a day to run so you can guess why those inflationary pressures are going on to food and also and this is the biggest one there is no common agricultural policy inside Britain as as a whole. Each region is doing its own thing and there is no direction in there and these farmers need direction because they always have a 10-year business plan. So all this in and around what's happening in Belfast tonight in these hustings is it's okay and it's fine and it's headline grabbing but whoever takes the reins of the Conservative Party has a massive job to do and do very very quickly one to get this place up and running behind us with the protocol issues and number two to get our food inflationary prices under control